Hello everybody, Joe here with Canada The Movies. This time I want to talk to you all about the summer 2024 horror film called Speak No Evil. Now this movie does star James McAvoy, Mackenzie Davis, Scoot McNary, and Azen Franchewski. If you haven't seen the 2022 original film, also known as Speak No Evil, check out my review right there. All right, so this movie is considered a horror film. Um, release date was September the 13th. And um, it's about a couple from America that is on holiday or on vacation, as we people in America, uh, America will call it. Um, and I think Italy, yes, they were in Italy. And they meet this British couple with their mute son. They have a great friendship with them and then they plan to meet again on another vacation and they go out to the British family's country estate. Then they start noticing some things where the family gets very rude about certain things, not respecting the wife's vegetarianism and start doing things that start making them feel uncomfortable and unsafe and then things start to escalate when they find out what is really going on. You see like people behaving in a way that's not normal with children. You see all types of things like that. And I think that for me, the being a trusting person and wanting to see the best out of everyone, um, you know, from the outside looking in, we're looking and we're like, get out, get out, get out. Like, you you see red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. But as you know, when you're in it, those red flags, may, you know, you may second guess yourself and say, hey, you know, really it may not even be that bad. Or, you know, the person who um, is, you know, doing these things, maybe it's not, you know, that horrible. So I was trying to think from like, their point of view as someone who tries to see the good in everyone that might have been what they were thinking but oh boy from the outside looking in it was frustrating because you saw what was coming you saw what was going to happen and also we had seen some trailers so now i will give this movie one thing out of respect is that they followed basically the original film format basically the same thing and what really worked for it is that they made James McAvoy and Aisling's characters just very lovable and then very frightening all at the same time. They did a great job. Both of them are great actors and actresses. I love both of them. The Nightingale with Aisling was an amazing film. James McAvoy, anything he touches is great and they make you feel so comfortable and then uncomfortable at the same time, and I love that about them. Ultimately though, this movie has a, a good plot line. Um, uh, some things, some twists and turns that I didn't see coming. Great camera work, great uh, storytelling, and um, the actors and actresses, the, even the kid actors. Everybody was phenomenal. Everybody did a great job. Um, and I was fully engrossed in this movie. So much so that it's one of those that I feel like I'll probably get. I don't think it was the best movie of the summer, but this is, um, even though I wasn't really scared, it, it came you know, as a horror, but I wasn't scared at all. Um, I think just as a drama, it's a really good film and I do recommend it. What's going on guys? It's Mitch, you know, candid at the movies. And when I like to sit at home or just go out and enjoy a movie, I always like to enjoy my Pop Stars Popcorn. Pop Stars Popcorn has a store location in Concord with millions of flavors from Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Red Velvet, and my personal favorite, Lemon Pound Cake. Now this Lemon Pound Cake, grade A, reminds me of Grandma's house when you know you come home or you come over and it's, she's baked the cake and it's got the smell everywhere just like oh my god what i do i take her home pour a little bit in my bucket maybe miss one or two go in <laughs> delicious amazing i would i recommend it try it out you can find them on instagram 
You can find their YouTube. Test, check, check them out. We appreciate them. We love their flavors. I recommend Lemon Pound Cake. It's the one. They even got Nana Pudding. So many flavors. I definitely think you should try it out. If you don't believe me, try it anyway. Taste it and tell me if I'm wrong or right. This tastes like grandma's house. Once again, Mitch, Candy, Poppin' Pop Stars Popcorn all day. Y'all have a great one. Be blessed. Too much of a negative thing is not something a lot of people can handle. And I feel like if they would have went with the original ending, it may have just turned a lot of people off. But I feel like this film, being its own thing and being a remake really works. It was a well needed win for Blumhouse because this year has sucked for them. So for that, I would have to give it an A minus. Um, I think that it was. I think that it was just really good. It was. It was frustrating to look on the outside looking in, but I can understand why certain things happened and why certain people didn't react in certain ways. I'm gonna give this film a, a solid. A minus. I'm gonna give it an A minus. Well, let me know what you all think down in the comments below. I've enjoyed Canada at the movies. This is Travis from Canada at the movies. We'll catch y'all later. Have a good one. Peace.